Well, new at 6 o'clock, workers across the city of San Diego are earning bigger paychecks now that voters increase the city's minimum wage to $10.50 an hour. But 10 News reporter John Horn reveals how some workers within city limits say they're being stiffed. San Diego's minimum wage just rose 50 cents an hour. A lot of fast food workers getting that raise. But there are thousands of other workers in the city who haven't seen a penny of that 50 cents. I was shocked. I was appalled. Shocked when she saw her latest paycheck. Darlene Nelson still earning $10 an hour at her job in the city of San Diego, where minimum wage is now $10.50 an hour. I pay for rent. I pay help contribute to rent, clothing, food, the basic necessities. And to earn that money, she works as a home health aide through in-home support services. It's a government program that helps disabled people stay in their homes. About 70% of the aides are assigned to their own family members. Nelson takes care of her two grown daughters. They're nonverbal. So mentally, they're between the ages of three and five. The state sends Nelson a paycheck every two weeks. We work so hard to work for seniors and people with disabilities, and we're paid the lowest. And a spokesman for the state tells 10 News Nelson's being paid correctly. He says the city's minimum wage increase from Proposition I doesn't apply. That's because the agency goes by the county's minimum wage, which is $10 an hour. Now, Nelson and her colleagues plan to seek help from the city council. We're all fighting. We're all having a hard time living here, trying to make ends meet. It's hard to live in San Diego on $10 an hour. And they thought those days ended with the June vote. John Horn, 10 News. In a statement to 10 News, Councilman Todd Gloria, who wrote Proposition I, says the legislation did not exclude any workers from the raises. He says he has spoken to hundreds of home health workers and supports their effort to be paid the city's minimum wage. A mother